again to Lent Moments. In today's gospel, Jesus heals the son of a royal official. He comes and pleads, please come, Jesus, and heal my son. And Jesus says, your son will live. And on his way home, there's a curious detail. The next day, he encountered his slaves on the way home to his son. And it says, your son was healed yesterday. And he inquired, what time? He said, one in the afternoon. It gives evidence that this was a real miracle, a real story from the time of Jesus. Jesus has the ability to heal. Sometimes our sicknesses are healed. Sometimes they're not, they're not healed. But every time there's a healing, it's not meant for its own sake. It's meant to lead a person to a deeper faith or to test a person's faith. We've had healing masses at our parish. And one of them, a young man came and he stayed there until the end of the mass and went right to the hospital. And the doctors discovered he didn't have enough oxygen in his blood to sustain his own life. And they wondered how he made it there. He had just been with Jesus at mass. When they did further examinations, they discovered what they thought was a tumor had become a cyst and they had no way to explain it. They were mystified. They said science and medicine can't explain it, but he believes that Jesus Christ performed this healing. I encourage you, place your faith in Christ and let him heal what is most anxious in your heart. He is our Lord, our Messiah, our Savior, but he's also our healer.